the knockout heard around the world. I feel like Kenny Smith after seeing that knockout. Let's go home, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go home. Let's go home. Anthony Joshua knocked that man out and just walked away like it wasn't nothing. <laughs> Congrats to Anthony Joshua, bro. Knocking Francis Nag Nagu, however you say his name, Nagu. Knock Francis out in the second round, bro. I'm shocked. You know, everybody was talking about how dangerous Francis was, how hard he punches. Nobody knew he couldn't take a punch. That Tyson Fury, <laughs> Tyson Fury had us all fooled, huh? That Tyson Fury performance had us all food. Had Francis Nagana food. He, it gave Francis Nagana a lot of confidence. Probably he was overconfident after that Tyson Fury fight. Tyson Fury, you did Francis Nagana a disservice, bro, for not taking him seriously, for putting a tough, for making a tough fight with Francis Nagana. But given, you know what I'm saying, you, you made it competitive. Well, Francis Nagana made it competitive with you because you didn't train or whatever. And look what you, and you set up Francis Nagana to get embarrassed, man. Francis Nagana confidence has to be shot right now, bro. But guess what? I saw it. I saw it in Anthony Joshua's eyes, man. You know, I don't know too much about Anthony, Anthony Joshua. You know, I thought he was scary because he would never fight Deontay Wilder. You know what I'm saying? But when I looked into Anthony Joshua's eyes, when Anthony Joshua walked in that ring and the referee brought Francis and Anthony Joshua together and I looked at Anthony Joshua's eyes, I said, oh boy, he focused. I said, okay, he focused. I see a focus, determined. His eyes was like, like a lion looking at prey, bro. Anthony Joshua, the, the the Anthony Joshua I heard of don't look like that. Anthony Joshua I heard of looks scary, but this dude, I said, uh oh, ah, uh ah, -uh, uh oh, I know that that's a predator look right there. That dude looked focused. I said, oh, wow, okay, it's going to be interesting. And so that first round, they filling, filling each other out. And, you know, Francis landed a, one of those hooks that he landed on Tyson. And uh, and and uh, Anthony Joshua ducked on the, under it a little bit so he didn't come into full contact. But either way, a punch like that could knock you down. That same punch knocked Tyson Fury down, bro. You know, and Francis threw threw, threw another hard uh, hook, but uh, Anthony Joshua didn't go nowhere. But goddamn, Anthony Joshua came back and hit uh, Francis with a straight, a straight power jab, straight in the face. Knocked him down. That first round, man. Amazing. Nobody expected that. We thought Francis was can take a punch. But uh it may be that Anthony Joshua hits like a sledgehammer. Or Francis can't take a punch. It, it's one of them. Either Francis can't take a punch or Anthony Joshua hits like a sledgehammer, bro. So he knocked him down that first round, that second round. Anthony Joshua hit him with a, uh, I think a pull. It looked like a pull counter. Knocked him down. Hit him with a pull counter. Looked like a, it, it, it looked like a sledgehammer hit Francis' head, man. He hit wobble, boom. That dude fell straight down. Bah. I said, oh, shit, it's over, man. It's over. 
Francis got up. Anthony Joshua threw a haymaker. It, it, it looked like Francis didn't even know where he was at. It, it looked like Francis just stood there. Anthony Joshua just, just took a, threw a straight haymaker at this dude. Knocked him out cold. And Anthony Joshua just walked away with no expression on his face, bruh. Hit that man, knocked that man out cold. Could He knocked the soul out of Francis Nagana. When Anthony Joshua... When Anthony Joshua hit Francis Nagana, Francis Nagana went to La La Land. Francis Nagana went into a in, into another life. Francis and Nagana lived out eighty years as he was knocked out on that canvas. Lived another life for eighty years. Woke back up and like, oh, where where am I? I just lived for 80 years in another in another dimension. And I'm back here. That's how hard he knocked that man out. He could have I thought he killed the man. He hit that man so hard it looked like he killed him. And Anthony Joshua just walked away like, "Eh, this nothing." Like it was nothing. So let that be a warning to you MMA guys. Don't come to boxing. Don't play with boxing. Because when you box a true professional like Anthony Joshua, this is what can happen to you. See, Tyson Fury was supposed to do that. Was supposed to make that statement. But Anthony Joshua said, that's okay Tyson Fury. I got this. You had a bad night. You embarrassed boxing. I got this. I'm the boxman spokesman. I'm the boxing spokesman. Let me show these MMA guys why they shouldn't come to boxing. Why they shouldn't play with boxing. Why they shouldn't challenge a real professional boxer. And Anthony Joshua made boxing look good tonight. <laughs> Anthony Joshua... Made a statement to MMA. Don't y'all bring y'all ass over here. Because this what can happen to you. I don't care how big and bad you is over there. In your sport of MMA. This right here is boxing. This is our turf. This is our arena right here. You come over here in our arena. By our rules. You going to be a victim. You're going to become a victim. Now, Francis Nagana looked invincible before he got knocked out. He looked scary. He looked big, invincible, and scary. Now, the man is bewildered. The man is shot. The man confidence got to be shot right now. He confused. I mean, this is the type of knockout that can make you never want to box again. This could take all your confidence away. Because Francis Nagano was hella confident. But this can kill your confidence to get beat like that. And Anthony Joshua, uh, Anthony Joshua, a good dude, because he was trying to talk Francis. He was trying to encourage Francis Nagano. You know, yo, man, don't quit. Don't quit, man. Come back. Don't quit. You know. I appreciate that by Anthony Joshua. You know what I'm saying? He ain't an asshole. He was a good guy. You know, trying to encourage, encourage Francis. Because he know that could kill your confidence. A knockout like that could destroy you, man. You know what I mean? Because Francis thought he never thought he could get hit like that.